And welcome back there, Gamer Nation. SKS here with another episode of Let's Play France. I mean Democracy 3, but we're France. Our education is outstanding, our health is outstanding, crime is at an all-time low, poverty is at an all-time low, because we're fucking France. We don't know what poverty is. Everybody has cheese and wine, and we're drunk, and we're happy. Our GDP is going down, and that's because the economy is in a deep recession right now, but we're still making 12.8 billion a, well, quarter, I guess you could say. So, hopefully, and again, we're having a market meltdown. We may not have done anything wrong, but a crisis. So the worldwide scale is just crashing, and we're still making money. So I'm not going to do much change at the moment, because, well, I really want to get this debt paid off, and it's 13 turns till I run for re-election again, which may be my last one, I'm not sure. Looks like we're heading the asthma epidemic down, so hopefully people will heal up soon. I did find out one thing though that I'm upset about this game. I'm France. And for foreign policy there's no way to put Jean-Luc Picard in. I, I think that's a game glitch. I think that should be modded in somehow. I, I just I think that would make it better. But as for everything, the capitalists are not happy with me. I'm sure that's due to the uh, market meltdown, yeah, so, well, shit happens, see, complacency, what the hell, they're upset because we're just sitting still, so, so that's kind of accurate, that, you know, complacency is just when you do the same thing over, so that just proves the theory that these, the makers of this game, Positech, figured out something, that socialists have to have something to change, whether it's good or not, or they get upset. Well, she doesn't look retired. She's still wearing heels. She doesn't really look like a commuter either. She's got some boots on, though. It's pretty hot. Oh, look at the Patriot! Because Patriots walk around with medals on their jacket and hat, and they just hold guns. I got a pair of boots like that, though. I totally teach in them. Uh, let's see what motorists look like. Oh yes, they're reading the, what you all said, the manga magazine backwards, but obviously there's not a motorist manga. Unless there is one, then I'm sure you'll link it if you can figure out how to do so. I'll check out this liberal guy. His shirt has a peace symbol that's melting and it says liberty. Huh. Well, at least it's not like the one that says, I don't care how big your flag is, you can't cover all the dead babies or something. The religious people, all, yes, because all people look Catholic from the 1500s that are religious. Trade unionist. I like how he's got a megaphone because those are in high demand nowadays. He's probably unhappy due to the fact that, uh, <laughs> you know, we don't, we don't have a megaphone tax. Self-employed people. Well, I like his cool little pants here. I wonder what he puts in those pockets. Environmentalist. Yeah, you gotta have your classic recycle shirt and carrying around a plastic bag, which is totally not what you want as an environmentalist. The wealthy. I, I, I do like how they just made her a little princess and she doesn't know how to wear her top. And the poor. He doesn't really look poor. They're upset about complacency too. Complacency. So they want me to do something, but yet they're like super, super happy. Oh well. Middle income? Eh. Let's check out the parents. I like how they got a guy holding the baby. What does he got? I mean, like a seatbelt harness type thing? What is he gonna go mountain climbing with that kid? That kid looks totally like abnormal. I don't know. There's just something wrong with it. Farmers. Yes, we've checked him out. Obviously, he doesn't know how to tuck his pants in. Or shirt. Excuse me. You don't tuck your pants in. State employees. Um, she just looks kind of creepy. It looks like she's an alien with this... I know that's a hair holder, but still. The conservatives. Yeah, they made her look awful this game. Let's look at the Utes. Oh! Him and his little iPod and, you know, a star on his hoodie and his skateboard. Okay. 
ethnic minorities. That dude is like a combination of every ethnicity that there is. They even put a square on his chest to make him... Oh, he's upset about border patrols and racial tension. I can understand that. And safeguarding oil supplies. Okay. And then everybody... They use the... Uh, middle income person for that. Alright, so... What's my security briefing? Are we safe? Looks like we're safe. The Human Rights Society is not happy about me. Nobody who actually has the ability to kill me is upset. That's always a good thing. Let's see how our income is doing. Now let's check out our policies because people are still... The property tax, I understand. We're working on that. I still can't get over that they don't like the disability benefit. That makes no sense to me. Um, oh, I was going to show you all the, uh, the Nazi party. We're steadily growing, and we've destroyed the other party. They have no members whatsoever. Um, I don't know what happened to them. They just quit showing up to work. <laughs> we invited them for crumpets and cake, and then they didn't. <laughs> um, yeah, like I said, there was something I was going to show you. Is this the achievements? Yes. I've unlocked a lot of achievements, but where the video messed up, um, we did unlock a one-party state. A crime-free utopia. Uh, even though it's not there now, the egalitarian miracle where everybody was equal. We eradicated poverty. We had uh, healthiness. I won my election by a landslide and got over 50% of the vote. I like this one, Darwin's legacy. Religion has been all but wiped from our country, leaving a society that believes in science, technology, and evidence rather than faith in religious texts. Uh, we've balanced the budget, and we made people super smart. So I was just letting you all know the uh, all the achievements that I've unlocked, like I said, since the videos uh, kind of messed up. But I'm not going to lie, I got a lot of those achievements like during the tutorial of my first game that I played. And that just seemed like it wasn't something that should happen. Um... I, I was kind of shocked that it went that fast, per se. Um, and maybe that's where the uh, people are, you know, upset about this. Where the game's too easy, but I don't know. Well, let's move on and go to the next turn. Uh, unemployment's going back up. We're only making $2.8 billion, hmm, which we need to address at some stage. Well, that's due to the, the economy that's crashing. I would still get 96% of the vote. Let's see, a new bill is proposed to allow a corporation entity to be prosecuted for manslaughter when they've been found guilty of negligence resulting in loss of life. Uh, this law is necessary to deter companies from cutting corners when it comes to the safety of their employees and members of the public. Um, this goes along with some rights of the workers and the consumer. Uh, let's see, this law is enforceable with large companies employing many subcontractors. The legal complexities involved in applying blame for accidents are considerable. This law will may be intention, but in practice it will be expensive waste of time that serves to line the pockets of lawyers while failing to achieve any real change. Uh, I don't know. This one's kind of split down the middle. I don't know what I would want to go with here. <sighs> you know what, corporations, we're trying to get them going, but I don't think this really, let's just pass the law and go on. Democracy means simply the bludgeoning of people by the people for the people. Interesting. Have we cured asthma yet? Oh, we're so close, gamers. Maybe next turn. I really have no clue what I want to do and with this, uh, can we look at a chart on the, oh, that's the wrong chart. State pensions is killing us. But we can afford it right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. Income tax is 59.3%. Mostly because we haven't set it 50%. At one point when we pay off the debt, I would love to drop that. 
I'm gonna get out of this economic downfall. So that's that's the plan, gamers. We'll just have to see what happens. And we have cured the asthma epidemic. Good news, everyone. Good news on the health front. Doctors are happy to report that the asthma levels have dropped significantly and are back to acceptable levels. Uh, still in a deep economy. Uh, ooh, a small surplus of 194 million. That's crazy. That is, the economy has really got to do something soon or we're going to be in trouble. The debt protection law. Debt collection agencies have been in the news because of an aggressive method they are using to extract payment from people who owe large sums of money. These debt collection agencies provide credit to people whom larger, more respectable companies will not lend money. A law was proposed to limit the ways in which such agencies can operate. These agencies are preying on the weakest and poorest in our society, often tricking them into borrowing money at exorbitant rates that can never be repaid. This is a little more than extortion and the government should act once to limit severely the activities of such unscrupulous companies. Nobody forces people to borrow money and they can't repay. They restrict their rights to debt agencies to recover legitimate debts that would be counterproductive. People need to learn to live within their means and not to expect the state. I agree with this. You need to learn what you can and cannot do. Now, if it's borderline, that's one thing, but if you're borrowing $300,000 and you can only afford a hundred, you're probably in the wrong. All right, so I'm really worried about the economy and what it's going to do this next turn. Our GDP is holding strong right now. I mean, I'm not going to lie. It's, the global economy is 30% down on it right now. Um, if that could just turn around we would be flying high I believe so I'm trying to weather the storm I know it doesn't make for exciting you know exciting times but um, we really don't have the money right now I, I mean we've got our debt down you know 200 billion I believe since we started um, so yeah here's the debt it started here and we've slowly brought it down. So hopefully we can keep going on that aspect. On that front, that's one of the goals. I like to pay off the debt. Alright! Terrorists captured! Some of our brave soldiers fighting abroad have located and captured some terrorists who are planning an attack against us. This is a great day for the security and freedom of our country. Hoorah! And the GDP is starting to go up. High productivity. Ooh. Our workforce are extremely productive, producing a higher amount of practically everything in comparison with our competitors. This is great news for the future of our economy. It went up and then it come down because of that recession, I bet. Uh, surplus of $8 billion. We're still in a deep reception. I would get 99% of the vote right now. Dang. The Art of Leader... Oh, we've already read that one before. So, wow, everything's running good right now. So, right now, I've got uh, 10 turns to the next election. I'm hopefully going to pay off this debt somewhat. Everything's going back up, it seems. I know the middle income's a little butt-bitten because of this income tax, but I really can't do anything with that yet. I mean, we're still implementing some things. So, I mean, it's it's going to be a little bit. They want consumer rights. Um, I wonder who consumer rights really help. I mean, our economy's doing good, so... Let's implement this. We put it there. Automated refunds. Right to return goods. All the way up, the GDP only suffers three. So if we only go up a little bit, it's below one. Self-employed don't like this. Capitalists don't. Eh, you know, let's let's not even do that. All right, let's move on.
SK has second thought himself, gamers. I was like, I'll do this, then I won't. Euthanasia. There's an urgent. Um, yeah, everyone has sympathy for those involved. I think we've faced this one before. Um, I don't think we should ever assist somebody in dying. I know that sounds terrible, but I'm going to leave the law unchanged. The economy is still in a deep recession. Good God. We have a surplus of 20 billion. Patriots don't like us. Why? We just captured a terrorist. Terrorist. You don't like all the foreign aid and complacency? They're just unhappy because I'm not doing anything. Um, I could increase our military, but... Sales tax... The middle, the middle income get. Let's, let's. I mean, if we drop it to forty-five, I lose fifteen billion dollars. Let's drop it a couple of points. We'll see if people are happy about that. I'm just slowly tweetering with it. Uh, so the GDP is going up. Still in a deep recession, Jesus. But 17 billion surplus? Uh, the Crusaders of the Lord are getting kind of riled up about it. Not a fan about that. Um, what else was going on there? Yeah, I would still win the election. Uh, one of our neighboring countries has a publicly announced case of foot and mouth disease in its cattle. Although the chances of the disease being spread to us are very low, you are being lobbied by Farmers Group to ban the import of cattle. Ban the import of cattle from that country. If we approve it, it's not just worth the risk. However slight it may be, of us importing this disease to our country. The only way to deal with it is the mass slaughter of cattle, and our agricultural industry would not survive that. This may seem overcautious, but to be the better safe than sorry, if the situation was reversed, they would do the same to us. There is no statistical or scientific basis for a blanket ban on livestock imports from that country. The outbreak is highly contained and poses little real risk. This will be an unpopular move overseas, and which will be seen as blatant protectionism. This would be an unfair and unjustified embargo of foreign goods. You know, here's where I wish they would tell you what country it is and how much you get from them. You know, is it going to be a big issue? I mean, are we getting like 90% of our cattle from them? I mean, I don't know. I, I think since our health is so high that we'll be okay, I'm going to... Oh, man, I don't know. What do I do? protectionism of course I'm trying to protect my people I'm the leader um, and the ban doesn't last that long I'm guessing so we'll ban it fuck them Patriots are still going back down they want me to increase that military spending hoorah let's see I need a uh, Oh my god, I can have an overwhelming force. 21 point... Let's see, 21.7. And to go all the way up, I need 29. Do I have $8 billion to spare? I do. <laughs> France will have the largest military might in all the world! Oil price shock. 
Oh shit! Um, <laughs> worries about war in the Middle East have resulted in many countries panicking in stockpiling supplies of oil due to the threat of future supply difficulties. As a result, the demand for oil has shot up, which could have negative impacts on motorists and our economy as the oil prices rises to reflect the increased demand. There's no way that has anything to do <laughs> with me building up my military all of a sudden. Um, the global economy is in recession and this is having a negative effect on our GDP, but we still made 19 billion that turn. So, hopefully, God, our GDP, it is just getting hammered by this global economy bullcrap. I mean, it's just, that's really, pollution controls, all this stuff is really not hurting it. I mean, if we get rid of that, we'll have enough positive, so just hang on, GDP. Patriots should be loving us right now. They like our space program. I wish there was more things I could do with the space program, like actually invest in going somewhere and adding to it. So, you know, do we want police drones yet? I wanted police drones. People want citizenship test. And import tariffs. Wow, so... They like national service, too? What do import tariffs do, though? Let's see, international trade goes down, foreign relations go down, patriots goes up, unemployment goes down, and capitalists goes up. Hmm. What's our international trade? We don't trade that much internationally anyway. Um, oh crap, I don't get to change it now because I did that? Oh, it stayed on maximum. That's wonderful. So it doesn't affect the capitalists at all. Our unemployment goes down. Patriots goes up, foreign relations go down, well fuck them anyway, so we're, we're making an overwhelming military at this point. I don't need to deal with you. Um, I can't believe they're for the citizenship test, but I will implement that. Racial tension goes down, immigration goes down, liberals go down, ethnic minorities. So we put it all the way up. Patriots are super happy. Racial tensions go down. Membership goes up that. Immigration goes down. That's fine. We'll do that. Hooray! We're all going to be French eventually. You will like it. You will like it. Alright, so things are looking good here. Unemployment's in the green. I like that. GDP, I want it to turn green. We're still making $14.8 billion. The economy's still in a recession. Good lord. A factory farming law. A campaign for the tightening of animal welfare state. Really? On farms is gaining momentum. A law has been proposed that will set higher minimum standards for the space, food, and access to outdoors that is available to animals in intensive farming establishment. Um, you know what? Our economy, we're trying to get it going, so let's leave this unchanged. I, honestly, they're animals for a reason. Oh no, we're losing our high productivity. Why are we losing high productivity? What is causing our high productivity to go down? Alcohol consumption? Damn you, alcohol consumption! Maybe I should tax the alcohol. Nobody's for it. I wonder why. On the other hand, those who drink socially see the government benefiting from such a tax to be hypocritical. I don't know. We'll, we'll go on right now. We'll see. 
Uh, let's see. We're still making 17.4 billion. Probably can drop taxes a little bit more here soon. Still 97% of the vote. The economy is still, still, oh my god. Look at the global economy. It like bottoms out here. We somehow survived that. And now it's going back up. So hopefully it can bounce back. I don't know what happened here, but... Man, it was just a market meltdown. But we've had market meltdowns before. Oh no. That is crazy. Let me go back out to the screen here. And let's see, retail merger. A large retail chain store has announced plans to buy one of its main competitors. This merger needs government approval. But if it goes ahead, it will create one of the biggest companies in the country. Oh, so it's going to be Walmart. Allow merger. There is no good reason to prevent this merger. It is increasingly global market. Our companies need to grow if they are to compete successfully. The bigger company will be more efficient and effective in global marketplace. Block the merger. The whole idea of a free market is based on competition. Allowing these two firms to merge will reduce both competition and consumer choice and no doubt lead to redundancies. It's another example of the government looking after big business and forgetting the little guy. Small business and trade unionists urge you to block this. Well, shit. How many small businessmen do we have? Self-employed, 18% of that. How many unionists? 30. I think I'm going to allow it. Yep, we're going to allow it. This country is a better place because Fox News has succeeded. Good job, Bill O'Reilly. You made a great quote, which ends my video. Gamers, I hope you enjoyed this segment of Democracy 3. I hope you are hating the way that I'm running France because eventually I'm setting it up for failure because it's going to become so successful that other countries will want to destroy it. Not that that's ever happened in history before. But anyways, as always, I hope you liked the video, and I will see you next time. Good night, gamers.